Hey guys, welcome back. So last episode we left off at working on the fender. So we're just gonna jump right back into it. Hopefully we get it done and we'll keep on moving. Hey, sorry for the interruption. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for me and give me a thumbs up if you're liking this video. All right, let's get back to it. There you go, guys. So this is just temporarily mocked up right now and I had to speed that up. I didn't want you to have to sit there and watch me do this forever. So here's what I did. Removed this section here so that'll allow the chain to come through. I may have to come in more. I don't know yet, I won't know uh, until I have the uh, Nexus 3 speed on there and I know where my chain line's gonna be but as of right now, I don't have a chain line. So these are the mounts for the rods. I'll show you those. I have to bend these. These are some thick boys here, but I've got a bracket that's gonna go there. That'll go there. I'm gonna do a nice little curve. So those will go there. And then you see what I'm doing there. So that'll come down and around onto that. And then these, these struts will all be, they'll be bolted on. I decided to only go with the upper mount here. Um, these right here, these are just Decron uh, axle nuts or acorn nuts. I may use them. They're pretty sturdy. I mean the fender, that's the only place the fender is attached right now and it's not even budging. So I really don't have to do much other than I was going to put a, a mounting spot down here, but it would have been overkill. So I probably will need to move this down just a little bit more just so that it's in line with the leg. I'm definitely, definitely digging it. It looks gorgeous. I'm super happy with it. I'm actually able to get the uh, nut on once that wheel because i was worried that i wouldn't be able to get the fender on um or get the wheel on after i put the fender on so it looks like i may be able to um i'll have some tilting here so once this because i got to be careful like i said this is getting painted all the rest of this is going to be powder coated this right here is going to be touching the fender and that's metal on metal so i will need to make sure that when I'm putting this together, either I have enough help, I think this will spread this will spread apart further. But once I add this support here, it might not do it anymore. So I'm gonna have to really take my time and really be careful with that stuff. Cause I've done that before where I've put on my center port here, center port, center bar right here. And it squeezed it so hard that it's past the five inch separation that I need. Right now it's exactly five inches apart. I did have these little aluminum washers that I threw in there. I'm gonna get some stainless steel hardware for the back right now, it's just regular stuff. I believe that's stainless steel. I'm super stoked with that. And I actually might get to use my uh, my little machine here. I might go to the hardware store or the uh, metal supply shop and get something smaller than this. I don't know how thick that is, but it's a little excessive, a little unnecessary. So, but I think I'm gonna call it a night um, like I said, I'm going to be on this most of the weekend, so I will see you guys um, this weekend. Hey guys, alright, so next day, we're jumping back on it, I'm getting back into this fender. Now what I do need to do is go ahead and finish weld these two areas right here, so that I can make them smooth, and then I can add the mounting bracket that I want to add there. Or something like that, I'm sorry, yeah, like that. I can't do that until I have these welded in. And then I'll just weld them on that side. There you go, like that, sorry. So once that's done, then I can go ahead and get ready to do the rods that are gonna go from here. And what I did do is I went and picked up some smaller square tube. This, I think, is gonna look super cool here. I'll shape it because, like I said, your, your diamond tuber, your diamond tuber, your diamond, the bender, the roller, will bend everything that's up to an inch and a half. So this fits right in there. I'll get a really nice, I'm not even showing you. Let me let me actually show you. There we go. I'm gonna actually gonna get a full curve out of one piece. So when I cut them, they'll be the exact same size there on both sides. Easy peasy. 
all done. Yes. So that's what we're doing today. Got a late start. Didn't mean to, but that's okay. Plan on here. Plan, plan on here. Plan. The, the plan is we're going to knock that out. Knock that out. Pull it apart. Figure out the seat. Put the seat bungs in. Make sure everything is exactly where I want it to be. Do the bottom bracket. Sin. Hi. <laughs> Send the wheel back over to the wheel builder. He's out in Texas. Ship that out to him. Get that done. As soon as we get it back, we will then finish weld everything. Because I don't want to finish weld it until I know the wheel fits perfectly. I also need to figure out where I want my shifter. I think I want it here. I think. I think it'll be out of my way. My legs come out here. I think having it under me, it will allow me because the cord or the... Uh, the shifting cable will run this way, so it will allow me to run it into the fender and all the way out and then come out into the uh, the actual shifter mechanism. So I think that's something else I may go ahead and, and super simple to make those. You just grab you some square tube, cut it at an angle on each side, throw that in there. This is the size you need. The 7 8 is the size you need for a shifter. Won't bore you with that. I've already done a shifter video. I'll link it in the description so you can check it out if you want to learn how to do a suicide shifter show you how to do that i uh, also did a suicide or a uh, bobber seat full episode on that i'll link it in the description too if you want to learn how to do a bobber seat but anyway enough babbling let's get to work So fenders off. What I'm gonna do now is go in here, probably finish weld this bracket, this bracket, go ahead and take the seat off, finish weld this. This is already done. Um, and then from there, we're gonna go ahead and knock out the bottom bracket. And then really not much else I can do other than maybe place a shifter, but I really need to know where I'm gonna be sitting. If I place the shifter in the wrong spot and then I end up kicking it, it's not gonna be real comfortable. making some real progress now we've got the seat done brackets welded in back brackets welded in bottom bracket top of that's welded in super nice bead laid down on that one too bad i'm gonna grind it all the way anyway because i want it like i said clean spotless threw a couple beads on the top legs here so that everything would stay still now i just got to go in i want to clean all that up i want that to be like i said everything needs to be completely clean other than the areas I have no way of getting to. I tried to really lay a nice weld down in there. So like I said, the powder coat, not gonna share that with you just yet, but the powder coat that I'm gonna use should basically make all that invisible. So that's, that's the hope anyway. Other than that, yeah. So I'm gonna break this back down, take this over, get some of this stuff ground down that I can. Still need to come over here and just do a few little 
a little something something on the fender you guys saw me do that earlier and and that is just a, a tip for you guys if you ever need a nice rounded edge just drill a hole on the edge i'm sure you know this already but just drill a hole on the edge and then follow that line you can even do a tape line if you want i used a ruler probably should have used tape but use a tape line to come out to the outside of that that circle of where you drilled and it'll give you that nice radius see how everything's there so i'm going to do it down here so that when i cut that line and i cut this line it ends in that radius and then other than that we've got left over here is just to finish weld our two back fender stays so super excited about all the progress for sure so I hope you guys are enjoying the build so far. Um, we're just gonna keep plugging along. Like I said, I want to finish this, uh, in this episode, I wanna get all the fabrication part done because we're not gonna bring the video or we're not gonna bring the build back until after the show. I, I kinda, I wanna keep some suspense, a little bit of suspense. Keep you guessing is what I'm trying to do. Keep you guessing. So hopefully, I can, I can do that, it's hard for me. It's hard for me not to share with you guys. It's hard for me not to post it on Instagram and show everything I'm doing. Problem will be is I'm gonna run out of content. Oh well. All right, let's get back to work. I think I'm gonna go ahead, that's cooling down. I don't wanna take that out of the bottom bracket yet while it's cooling down uh, so it doesn't move. Let's go ahead and knock the fender out. Let's go ahead and finish up the rear fender stays and then we'll keep going from there. See. I wanted you guys to see how much after this to get to this. So you can see like what I'm trying to do here is just trying to get every small detail that I can, you know, not necessarily make the bike perfect because that's not a thing. Just really to pay attention to the small details and really, my, really trying to help my powder coater out here because a lot of this stuff's not going to get painted. You know, this is going to get powder coated. So... If I don't, if I'm not careful, like I said, 500 times, that stuff's going to show up. But I went ahead, I got this part here done so I can uh, get that ready to go. I don't, I'm not going to mount it yet, but I got it ready to go. Over here, I was just test fitting a crank that I had laying around. I think I'm going to need to go, I'm going to need to go a shorter crank. This was just too long for me. I always run like a 144 millimeter, give or take. I think this is 175 millimeter and that that just refers to the length from here to here um it would be fine ground clearance wise it'd be like right there but i like running smaller cranks just seems to make the bike ride smoother that's my opinion but whatever all right back to work All right, so they came out. They came out really good. I'm super stoked on these. I think they almost look kind of like, they almost look like they were machined this way or pot metal this way, you know? So I'm pretty happy with that. It's gonna look really good. They're gonna look really good on here. Gonna just kind of disappear into there. Okay, so what do we got left? Just mainly cleanup. So I'm gonna break the frame down off the table here and uh, start grinding away at the stuff that I can and then get the wheel broke down. I actually may put it back up here, put it back together again just to make sure nothing shifted while I was messing with stuff, while I was welding, doing anything like that. So let's do that. Let's take it off, clean up what I got to clean up and then come back, put the wheel back on uh, and then just make sure nothing's moved because a lot of times, especially with this, I had to weld some of this off of when it wasn't connected anymore. And as you guys know, the heat will pull this stuff away from each other and you'll be out of luck. All right guys, I didn't put you through all that grinding and cleaning and putting it back up here on the jig again but come check this out that's what i'm talking about 
I went in there and smooth. It's really hard to get to the back, but I'm still, I still got a little bit of work to do. But you guys can see what it is that I'm trying to achieve here. It's funny because I, I hear, I don't know how many guys have you guys watched uh, UFC or used to watch the Ultimate Fighter that was on. And I hear Dana White's, like I hear him in my head going, don't leave it in the hands of the judges. And I hear that. And you really don't have a choice in this case because that's who judges you. But basically what I'm saying is, is I'm trying to do everything I can to make sure that I'm not missing anything. That they're not going to come back and be like, oh, you know, it would have been perfect or you would have won had you done this. I don't want that to happen. So I want to make it as hard as possible, like I said. I'm super happy with this. I love how this is coming out. Um, I still got to get in here, get all of this. It's going to take some time, which we have plenty of. Not really, but I'm pooped. I'm gonna call it a day. Um, I will hit you guys up tomorrow. I'm still debating whether I'm just gonna throw this up and post it and then as I keep completing, then I'll post more until it's time for paint and then we'll stop. But um, right now, I'm pooped. Later.